This is code.org. Let's take a look here. We have this application. Where should I eat? What we need to do, though, is start thinking about our Decision Maker app. Now, for this project, you will create an app that helps the user make a decision. Your app must take in at least one number and one string from the user that will help them make that decision. All the information will be used as part of the decision-making process, in addition to your code, your app. You must submit the planning guide. Keep in mind for these requirements. At least one number and one string must be used to make the report, to make and report a decision with a conditional statement. Conditional statement, don't be scared of that. That's an if statement. A function, so one number and one string. A string is a word, right? So maybe you're checking someone's name. A function that they type in. A function which updates the screen and is called at least twice in your program. A conditional statement includes at least one logical operator and or not. There are at least three different possible output answers. Yes, you can adopt a cat. No, you can't. Congratulations. Every function contains a comment explaining the purpose and functionality. Clear and easy to navigate interface. Cleanly written code. All right. Brainstorm an app idea for your decision making app. Interview classmates for ideas on what information would be needed to make the decision, draft a flow chart on the decision-making process, design your app's interface, design the program, your app, and app lab, collect feedback. Great, so let's go ahead and get started on this. Brainstorm app ideas. Your app should be designed to help a user make a decision. The decision can be big or small, like what to eat lunch or where to apply for a job. Hmm, okay, so this is where we put our ideas. I'm going to take a look at theirs, where should you eat? And just as an example for this, I will do one of theirs as well, where should you eat? And I think they also have an activity finder. And then my idea, I think I might do a fortune teller, but again, as an example, uh, where should you eat? Obviously, I would be coming up with my own, but this is just an example. And then an activity finder. And for this third one, I think I might do a fortune teller app. So I guess I'll put that here. But again, you just need something that's going to output some information for them, right? Make a decision. Uh, maybe they'll make a life decision based on what I'm telling them through my fortune teller app, uh, where they should eat for lunch. So maybe you have them put in how much money they have and you say this fancy restaurant, or maybe you have them put in a pick between five foods and you tell them a burger place, anything like that or a job to apply for. So maybe they put in, do you, you ask them if they like computers or not, and then rate mm, uh, how physical they are, and you tell them to be a football player for a job. I don't know, but that's the general idea of this. Talk through your ideas with a classmate. Well, I don't have classmates, but make sure you're analyzing what information is actually going to be needed, because that's the information you're going to collect through user input. Now, let's hit upon this. So, well, let me actually, what's going to be needed? So if you're a classmate for my fortune teller app, I'm probably going to ask their name. And then honestly, I'll ask a color because I'm going to use that in their fortune. The activity finder, what info do they need? They needed their name and times a day and the level of activity. So that's what they mean when they're asking for that name here, restaurant type. So that's what info they would need uh, for that. All right, storing information, what variables? Well, if we take a look at their ideas, they must have a variable to store a name. And by the way, a name is a string, right? When you type in your name, because you up here, you have to have a string, conditional statement, yep, or at least three different, uh, at least one number and one string, make a decision, okay? So a one variable they have, they already put age here, but they would also have name. And what's that? The user's name and what is it well a name would be a string okay and then same with like a restaurant a restaurant's a word so that would be a string as well flow chart draft a flow chart so you can uh so to show the decision making process and they show us all this stuff since we're going to do this digitally okay i'm just going to click here and do a insert we're going to i'm going to do insert drawing and this will allow me to make a flow chart. So I might have to go back and look at points, but I know, well here, I know if I take a look at theirs, they have the question at the top. And then notice they have broken out their if statements, right? For this cat thing, they're checking age and money. So let me go now and work on mine for 
I'll use their, sure, I'm going to use their restaurant app as an example. So I'm going to do insert uh, drawing new. And this is on Google Docs. You might have to find a different way to do this if you're using a different uh, document form. But all right. And then at the top, they had the question. So I'm going to do that. And my question is, well, what was it? Where should I eat? Where should I eat? Okay. And then type of restaurant and dollars. So where should I eat? If I want type of restaurant, so type of place, uh, and have X dollars. Okay. So I don't know those values, but I'm just going to put them in there to keep them in mind. Now, what will I call those variables, right? So they called theirs money and age. So I'm going to say, uh, type for restaurant type, I guess, or maybe I'll say food type, something like this. And then for their money, uh, I could say money, I could say dollars, I guess I'll just say money. Okay, so that's how much, right? How expensive dollars per person, so money. All right, now what they did is, and I might put boxes around these, they have boxes, they had uh, post-its in the example. Maybe wider, something like this. Control C, click, Control V, just so I have one for both of these. All right, now what's going to happen for my flowchart? Well, these two things, these variables are going to be used. So I'm going to just boop, and let me make this thicker. And if I want to be real fancy, which, you know, why not? Why not be fancy? I'm going to go ahead and just kind of connect all this. I'm going to kill that arrow right there. Okay, so not perfect, but sure. Now, we need, what they used was a diamond next. And so I'm going to kind of stick with their pattern. Why not? They seem to know what they're doing. And there is a consistent mathematical pattern for this type of a flow chart, this type of a logical chart. But you can just kind of look at theirs for an example. Don't stress yourself out too much. Okay, so. Boom, boom. And I'm going to do... Sure. And the first thing I would do if this was my app, if I want what type of place, okay. Well, let's see here. Type of restaurant, Chinese. So this is gonna be like an if else statement. I don't know how many options they have, but I'm gonna pretend that they have three. So what I will do is, um, let me grab some text. Food type equals okay and then i can put my types so they had chinese and i honestly don't remember yeah italian or breakfast cool so and i'm going to use an or operator let me use quotes around here just to be technical or is those two lines chinese italian or breakfast. Now again, you would be making your own app, of course. Now, this is what they did. So I would write it something like this. And there's a few different ways to model this data. You might put those on the um, lines themselves, which I'll show you what I mean. But here's my or and watch. Huh? Gonna have to make this huge. Nope. All right. So we'll say that's good enough. And now what happens? We need the true statements afterwards. And so this gets complicated, right? There's a lot of details here, but afterwards we're gonna look at money. So I would go ahead and now put more uh, diamonds uh, over here maybe, and transparent and three. And then this is gonna be a if again. So if to an if increase that so you can see it and what this one will be is let me first label this line so we know uh, i'll say chinese so this line is if they chose chinese right so if chinese okay that's true they go this way now what do i want to know well i want to know money because in the app i believe it's like 15 dollars, and they go to a fancy place so i'm gonna say and uh, let me check though. 
Hello, it sounds like you want to go to eat at an undefined restaurant. Oh, I probably have to put in my name. Oh, maybe that one doesn't work. So notice how it switches. I guess it's $30. Yes, at $30. So if money greater than 30, whoops, not 39. If money is greater than 30, and I'm going to leave my variable lowercase because I said it would be up at the top. And these are the names for the variables we would use in code. If it's greater than 30, well, what do I want to do? Okay, I'm going to have a true and a false. And then what happens? So here is where I would print out. Maybe I'll do the text first. Whatever they say. You should. Let me look. Nope. Hello, blah. It sounds like you should eat at. Okay, so. Hello. And I'm not going to write all this, but you get it. It sounds like you should eat. And if you want to diagram this, you could even just say eat at cheaper rest place, right? Or something. So it gets the point across. But you might want to write the full text out as well. So I'm going to copy this because now that means over here it'd be. Obviously, this is not what they put, and I'd likely want to put what they what I was going to put, which is the output they provided. So now let me just get some boxes around these guys for organization's sake. And this is a bit of an undertaking. But I just want you to keep in mind at Google, at Facebook, at wherever, if you go to make an application, you're doing this. This isn't like garbage that people are inventing for you as a student. Uh, this is how it is always done. And it's done that way to save money because it's easier to make sure you know what you're doing at the start rather than get somewhere and be like, oh, wait, this leads nowhere. And if you wanted to get really technical, where should I eat food money? I might even add name um somewhere up here but that's not going to be an if statement part of this so maybe not since that's not going to affect the if statement we just put out that information now keep in mind i've only done chinese right so i would add this same thing here but for italian too and then over here exact same idea but for breakfast for the three options that they had right boom something like this over here, so on and so forth to diagram it out. Now I hit save and it will pop there. Okay, pretty big. Okay, there are no screen requirements for this app. You may use one or more, and this is up to you. Just make sure you lay it out and it has a consistent design. Testing, things you could improve based on watching them use your app. That's gonna be when you and a partner are working together. And then this is talking about making sure you complete your overall app, so. Awesome. I would for this, if you're doing it digitally, though, do insert drawing again and, you know, start drawing out a paper prototype of your application, what you hope for it to look like. My awesome app. I can't spell anything. Ah. OK, well, hopefully yours will be better than that, but you get the idea. Awesome. I'm excited to get started on this.